So the first thing that we're gonna take a look at, SoundPaint keeps on cranking out uh, instruments and I wanted to just show a little bit. This is a very older 1969 Steinway D. Interesting instrument and I thought we would just take a quick look at it. And I was just going through all the list of presets here and you know, they just got so many different presets. This is just the legacy uh, intimacy. It's just got a really interesting warm sound. And then the uh, modulation will just affects the tone. A little detuned, a little kind of chorus effect here. Uh, let's go to uh, Legacy Dreams. And one thing I want to show you on these pianos, sometimes I've heard reports that people have been running out of voices and that kind of thing. This is the issue right here. If you look under voicing, they limit it to 64 voices in the um, in the factory presets. So what I do, you know, I come over here and let's bump it up. Let's just, you know, because you know what happens here when uh, when I get a hold of a piano. So I'm going to go to 128 at least. And so if you find yourself with notes cutting out, uh, just go to this voicing tab in the rack and just increase those voice counts. So here we go. This is uh, Legacy Dreams. This is more like a pad type of thing. You can see the attack and decay. So sound paint is just about uh, painting with sound, you know. Very cool, very nice pad like. Uh, it's nice. Okay, let's uh, let's check out another one. Okay, this uh, this 64. This Legacy 64 is kind of cool. It's like a video game, like. The eighties are strong with this one. Yes, yes. And you see what they're doing here with to make that uh, the pitch, this pitch thing is just going like nuts. It's just jittery. So it's just the constant, constant pitch shifting there. All right. <laughs> a little too, too, a little too pitch shifting. That's kind of wild. Okay, let's just check out uh, the main grand. And that's a really interesting rich sound and I'm going to go to voicings let's crank the voices up a little bit and you cannot overwrite the factory patches so you've got to you know if you make changes save it to your user library Just a lot of nice sounds here. And uh, I haven't checked out a lot of these. A lot of these are like sound design patches, but let's check out the, uh, the Xenomorph and look at this. So you've got all kinds of crazy stuff going on here with this. They're morphing between two uh, different pianos.
like that uh, like that hammer noise. Yeah, you know, velocity, velocity response is, um, you know, it's it's a little different uh, with what they're doing with the uh, sound paint. They're doing some kind of a of spectral spectral stuff. <laughs> Let, you know, I don't know what all the secret sauce is, but it uh, it takes the velocity value and it just sort of allows it to go. Um, to access different parts of the um, of the waveforms that they have, I think that's kind of a cool sound. Yeah, so that's a little um, little sound sound paint for. Ooh, listen to that little sound paint for today. Let's just do this this legacy rock uh, piano. Now, see, I've got to increase the voices here. Um, yeah, I wish they would just go ahead and default it to 128, you know? And you can see they've got the octave shifted up here and down here. So for every note, you've got the regular octave, then an octave up and an octave down just to kind of make it fat. Yeah, so that gets a little wild. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, shimmery art and and uh, and you've got the, all the effects section here and the arpeggiator. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, and you've got tons of other presets that you can uh, that you can go check out. Okay, so that's uh, that's a little visit to Sound Paint Corner today uh, with that legacy 1969 uh, Steinway D.